Hello guys, good evening. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Alejandro Narbona, guys. You know me already. On behalf of Inglés Corporativo, I want to say good evening. Thank you very much for logging in. How was the weekend? ¿Qué tal estuvo el fin de, guys? Busy. How do you say ocupado? Busy. Busy. Very good. How do you say relajado? Worried. Oh, to us, well, worried. Eh, por la enfermedad. Yeah, because of uh, the illness. You can say illness. 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 Another way of saying um, enfermedad, illness, sickness, etc. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So, thank you very much for doing your best, guys. I appreciate you are here. Now, we're going to start with a very important topic. Okay. This okay. topic is going to be time expressions, all right? Hoy vamos a trabajar con las ex ciertas expresiones de tiempo, okay? Y estas, desde ya les digo, guys, van casi siempre al final de la oración, okay? So, we're okay. going to remember that the structure in English is subject, verb, complement. No importa qué en tiempo gramatical estemos hablando, siempre vamos a ir subject, verb, complement. En el complemento va todo lo demás. Okay? Okay. okay. All right. So let me go ahead and share with you what we're going to do today. Vamos a compartir lo que vamos a hacer el día de hoy. And uh, we have a lot of exercises. Si ustedes pueden ver acá, tengo bastantes ejercicios para ustedes. Y también para la otra clase que viene después. All right. So please go ahead and read it with me. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Very good. Todos, guys. Necesito que todos vayan um, repitiendo conmigo. Por el simple hecho que necesitamos practicar. All right? So, okay. in this lesson, in this you lesson, lesson, you will listen to a conversation. You will, you listen, will listen, listen to a conversation, conversation where time expressions are first introduced. Where time, where time expressions, expressions are first, are first introduced. 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 In, at the end, we're going to say introduced. 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 Mm -hmm. There you go. Alg algunos los escuché. Este sonido final, que es el sonido de la... All right. So, en esta clase escucharán una conversación donde expresiones de tiempo son presentadas por primera vez. Ahora traten de leerlo todo igual que yo, con las mismas pausas, con la misma entonación. Solo déjenme terminar. Just let me finish. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where time expressions are first introduced. Go. In, In this, this lesson, lesson, we'll listen, we'll listen to, conversation to conversation where time, time expressions, expressions are first, first introduced. Introduced. Okay. introduced. Correct. All right. I need a volunteer to read it completely, please. Necesito un voluntario que la lea toda. In this lesson, you will listen to conversation where time expressions are first introduced. Good job. Good job, Roberto. Nice emphasis on the final sounds. Um, here, no dice A. Pero aquí falta el artículo A. Quizás tenían okay. hambre y se lo comieron, right? To a conversation. Okay. Pero eso no es eh, cosa tuya. Muy bien. Uh, here, expressions. Nos faltó la S. Pero cositas, ¿verdad? Porque sí me queda claro que estás trabajando con los sonidos finales. Good job. Buen trabajo. Okay, All right. Thank so, you. let's go ahead and listen to this conversation, guys. Here it is. Let's go ahead and mute your microphones so you can listen to everything. Okay. <clears throat> listen to a conversation where time expressions are first introduced. I start work at five. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at 5. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. All right, thank you very much. So, oops, 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 oops. I need you to stay here. 
All right, perfect. Here you are. I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Here, yeah. All right, so you know, I need you to practice at least four minutes every single day as far as your pronunciation. So go ahead and repeat with me. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? There you go, there you go. Yes, I do. Yes, I, yes, do. I do. Really? 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 Good. Here, I need you to pay attention to the intonation. With yes, no questions, we go up in pitch. We're going to go up really and you go up with this one with informational questions with wh you go down so really really what, what time do you go to work what time do you what go time do you work? do you go to work do you, do you go, go, to, time work? Do you go to work very good so again really 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 what time do you go to work what, what time, time do you, do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I, I work, work in the afternoon. afternoon. I start work at five. I, I start, start work, work at five. 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 Mm -hmm. Here you gotta come up with the with the mouth here. Five. 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 Mm -hmm. five. Exactly. Tenemos que cerrar la boca y los dos. La posición de la F y de la V es la misma. El, es la misma posición de la boca acá. Aire para afuera. Como que vamos a decir fútbol, familia. Y también la V chica es igual. Five. Five. Victory. Mm -hmm. Van, etc. All right. Um, wow, that's late. Wow, that's late. Wow, that's late. Now, I wanted to do something, guys. Don't look. All right. No miren la conversación. Traten de repetir exactamente como yo lo hago sin ver la conversación. Okay. okay. No hagan trampa. Que quiero ver sus habilidades de escucha. Así lo vamos a mejorar. So just repeat. When do you get home at night? When do you when get do you home at night? Get... No importa. It's okay. When do you get home at night? When do you, when do get, you get home at night? night? Good. I usually get home at midnight. I usually, I usually get, get home, home at, midnight. at midnight. Very good. Midnight. Con la T al final. Midnight. 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 Good. Acuérdense, no lean. Así estamos eh, practicando nuestras listening skills. Midnight. 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 That is late. That, that is, is late. late. Mm -hmm. What do you do exactly? What do you, what do, do, you do, exactly? do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I'm, I'm a TV, a TV announcer. announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. I do the I weather, do report. weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Don't you recognize, you me? recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. Oh, oh you're, you're Helen, Helen Black. Black. I love your show. I love, I love your, your show. show. By the way, I'm Daniel. By the way, By the way I'm, I'm Daniel. Daniel. Very good. So, guys, I wanted to please tell me what do you think are the time expressions you see here. ¿Cuáles creen que son las expresiones de tiempo en esta conversación? In the Acá. morning. In, the, in morning. the morning. Very good. What time do you go to work? Ajá, es una pregunta. Exactly. What time do you... Y aquí venimos y podemos cambiarlo. What time do you eat lunch? What time do you study? What time do you take a shower? Very good. Acá what time do you wake up? Ajá, what time do you wake up? Exactly. Um, what time expression do you see here? Um, in the afternoon. Trabajo. In the afternoon, exactly. En la tarde, right? La tarde. So tenemos, how do you say in the mañana? When do you in the morning. In the morning. morning. How do you say in the tarde? In the in afternoon. afternoon. Good. Um, here at five is otra time expression. Okay? Ya vamos a ver más ejemplos. At night, how do you say in la noche? At night. At night. night. Esta no sigue el mismo patrón. It doesn't follow the same pattern in the morning, in the afternoon. En la tarde sería in the evening. Evening. Pero ya en la noche ocupamos at, at night. At night. At midnight, a la medianoche. 
All right, so these are the time expressions that we're going to cover today. ¿Ya habían trabajado ustedes antes con las time expressions, guys? Yes. Yep. Yes. All right, very good. So this is going to be a reminder. So read with me. By the end of these lessons, I'm sorry, dije la S, no tenía que ir ahí. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions such as prepositions of time and adverbs of time. Go. By the end, By the end of, of this lesson, participants, participants will be able, be able to, to identify, identify and use time, time expressions expression, such as prepositions of time and adverbs of time. Time and adverbs of time. Of time. Good job. Acuérdense que no es competencia. Mientras traten de hacerlo igual que yo, vamos por el buen camino. So, al finalizar esta clase, los participantes serán capaces de identificar y usar expresiones de tiempo tales como a las, en, alrededor de, tarde, temprano, antes, después, hasta, etc. Ok. So, yo les voy a dar material de apoyo, guys. I'm going to give you supporting material. But I need you to please pay attention to this. Necesito que por favor veamos este video que estoy seguro ya lo vieron. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions such as prepositions and adverbs of time. Time expressions. I get up at 7 in the morning on weekdays. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. I get home late at night on Fridays. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. I wake up before noon on Sundays. I wake up after noon on Sundays. Expressing clock time. Seven. Seven. Seven o'clock. Seven a.m. equals seven in the morning. Seven p.m. equals seven in the evening. Okay, so now let's talk about at, in, and on. At. This preposition of time is used to discuss a specific time, including exceptions such as night. Examples, we have classes at 8 p.m. We have classes at 8 at night. In. This preposition of time is used to discuss general times of day except night, months, and years. Examples, we have classes in the morning. My graduation is in June. I went to Mexico in 1989. On. This preposition of time is used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week, at specific dates. Examples, we will meet on Friday. I rest on weekends. Christmas is on December 25th. All right, give me just a second. Let me set it up here so you can get a better idea. Here we are. Okay. Expressing so, clock time. We're going to use this. Vamos a usar esta, guys. Y vamos a usar unas más que tengo acá. So here, before we get into this, let's go ahead and work on the expressions, okay? okay. Um, around. Here, when we use around, it's not on a specific time, okay? Alrededor de tipo hora salvadoreña, ¿verdad? Okay. So, around. How do you say around. alrededor de las siete? Around around seven. Around seven, right? Um, how do you say temprano? Early. Early. Uh huh. That's good. Say it with me, please. Early. 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 Mm -hmm. er, er, early. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, Hector, I need you repeating too. Necesito que todos repitamos. Okay. Tarde sería late. 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 How do you say tarde? Late. Late. Very good. Until. 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 until midnight. 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 Until midnight. is. Hasta cierta hora. So, how do you say, me quedo despierto hasta la medianoche los sábados? Uh, the answer is right in front of you guys. Okay. 
Pare de sufrir, aquí está. I stay up until midnight on Saturday. I stay up until yep. midnight on Saturday. On Saturdays, very good. Saturdays. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> let's say it with me. I get up at 7 in the morning on weekends. I get up at 7 in the morning, seven seven in the morning, in the morning on, weekends. on weekends. Me despierto a las 7 de la mañana los fines de semana. Okay? Very good. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. I go to bed, go to bed around, around 10, 10 in the in evening, the evening on the weeknights. weeknights. Very good. So, me voy a la cama. How do you say me voy a la cama? Alrededor de las 10. Solo me voy a la cama. How do you say that? I, I go, go to, to bed. bed. I go to, go to bed. I go to bed. Go to bed. Good. Me levanto. I, I get up. up. I get up. Good. Wake up sería despertarse. Uh, y ya, uh, get up es como levantarse de la cama, se van a bañar, a desayunar, etc. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. I, need I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, acuérdense, no importa que se queden, traten de repetir lo más que puedan. Es como un niño. Así aprendemos otro idioma. So, me voy del trabajo temprano. How do you say that in English? I leave work early. Very good. Me voy del trabajo tarde. I leave work I late. I leave work late. Very good. Me voy del trabajo a las 5 de la tarde. I leave, I leave work, work at, at 5 p.m. At 5. O'clock. At 5. Very good. So, si se pueden ver con la misma oración, solo estoy cambiando las time expressions y cambia nuestro significado. Okay. So, say this for me. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. I, I stay, stay up, up until midnight, midnight on, on Saturdays. Saturdays. Very good. Me, me quedo hasta tarde, hasta la medianoche, los sábados. Okay. I stay up. Mm -hmm. Stay up. Stay up. I stay, stay up. up. Mm -hmm. Vamos a terminar con la I. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. Mm -hmm. Good. I wake up before noon on, Saturday, on Sundays. I, I wake, wake up, up before, before on Sundays. On Sundays. Mm -hmm. Before noon. Good. On Sundays. On Sundays. How do you say antes? Before. before. How do you say después? After. After. How do you say antes, guys? Before. Before. Después? After. After. Very good. Hasta la medianoche? At, until, until midnight. Until midnight. midnight. Good. Tarde? Late. Late. Temprano? Early. Early. Al, alrededor de las siete? Around, Around seven. seven. Very good. A las ocho? At, at eight. eight. At eight. 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 Look. Good, 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 good. So, si se fijan, guys, esto es parte de su complemento. Generalmente, las expresiones de tiempo van al final. ¿Ok? Um, y aquí tenemos sujeto, verbo, complemento. Now, how do you say en la mañana? In, in the, the morning. morning. In the morning. morning. Aquí vamos en orden, ¿ok? En orden de la imagen. En la tarde. In, bueno, the, evening. in the evening. In the evening, ya después de las 5 de la tarde aproximadamente, ya podemos decir en the evening. Incluso ahorita, cuando yo me conecto, les digo good evening, porque si yo les digo good night, ahí sí ya sería buenas noches, adiós. Pero... That's all. I'm sorry? No, no. All right. So, en la tarde ya sería hasta como a las cuatro y ficha antes de las cinco. So, how do you say en la tarde? In the afternoon. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. Correct. En la noche? At night. At night. At night. Good. Quiero ver a la medianoche. Until midnight. Ajá. Y sería at midnight. At. Uh -huh. Until, en este caso lo hacemos porque queremos dar a conocer que es hasta esa hora. All right. Los sábados. On Saturdays. Uh -huh. Los domingos. On Sundays. On Sundays. Los viernes. On Fridays. On Fridays. Ajá. Siempre le vamos a poner la S al final porque estamos hablando de todos los viernes. Todos los sábados. Es como una rutina que tenemos. ¿Los días de semana? On, on weekend days. days. On weekdays. Días de semana. Days. Ajá. ¿Las noches de la semana? On weeknights. Week uh -huh. ¿Los fines de semana? On weekends. On weekends. Very good. ¿Y qué tenemos los viernes, como ya lo dijimos? Friday. 
All right. So, time expression, guys. Para el clock time, para la hora del reloj, podemos ocupar simplemente seven. Eight. Nine. All right. Simplemente podemos ocupar el número. Sin embargo, si yo les, ahí tiene mucho que ver el contexto. Context has to do a lot. Porque si yo les digo, the meeting is at five. La reunión es a las cinco. ¿Creen ustedes que sería la tarde o la mañana? In the afternoon. Ajá, in the afternoon, generalmente, right? I take a shower at seven. ¿En la mañana o in the morning? morning? Exactly. Early in the morning. Morning. Exactly. So, um, si nosotros vamos a ocupar esto, seven, seven o'clock, significa a las siete cabales, a las siete en punto. ¿Ok? Ok. Todos estos van a ser dependiendo, all of this is going to be depending on the context, dependiendo del contexto. However, sin embargo, aquí ya tenemos que especificar. 7 de la mañana, say it with me, 7 a.m. 7 a.m. 7 a.m. 7 in the morning. 7 in the morning. 7 in the morning. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. 7 in the evening. 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 Mm -hmm. So, si es obvio, simplemente podemos decir el número o el número más o clock, si la acción es obvia. Pero si es, es ambigua, eh, por ejemplo, reunámonos. ¿A qué hora? A las 7. Ahí puede ser tarde o noche, ¿verdad? So, the context is going to help you right there. El contexto ahí les va a decir qué es lo que tienen que hacer. ¿Me van captando con esto? Yes, sir. All right, very good. Now, Another tip that I can give you, y esto que muchos de mis alumnos en esta etapa siempre dicen, is 7 a.m. o clock. 7 p.m. o clock. Eso es uno de los errores más comunes que tenemos, guys. Y aquí tenemos que escoger. O decimos a.m. o decimos o clock. O decimos p.m. o decimos o clock. Pero no podemos decir jamás 7 o'clock a.m. 7 p.m. o clock. ¿Estamos claros con eso? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It, it's better say 7 a.m. or 7 p.m. Ajá. Or 7 o'clock. Yeah. Okay, Vamos a ocupar 7, el número, más el o'clock, si es obvio. Pero si es ambiguo, como que veámonos, veamos una película, yeah. vamos al super, let's go to the supermarket, let's watch a movie. At 7, hmm, al super, creo que ya está abierto a las 7, eso puede ser ambiguo. All right, guys, very good. So these are time expressions. Keep it in mind. And now we're going to do this real quick. This image, I'm going to send it to you. Esta imagen se las voy a dar a ustedes, se las voy a mandar, o pueden tomar un screenshot, como quieran. So vamos a ocupar in, guys, para estas. Vamos a ocuparlo para tiempos. So how do you say in la mañana? In the morning. morning. En la tarde? In the, in the afternoon. afternoon. Ajá. ¿En la tarde-noche? In the evening. evening. ¿En enero? January. January. Uh -huh. ¿En diciembre? December. In, December. In, in. Siempre con in la, December. Con la... uh -huh. Exacto. Uh -huh. ¿En agosto? In, the in August. I in August. August. Uh -huh. ¿En octubre? In, in October. October. Exacto. So, como podemos ver, vamos a ocupar in para las partes del día, para meses, eh, para años, How do you say, en 1970? In 1970. Ajá, in 1970. In 1970. En el 2010? In 2010. Ajá, podemos decir 2010 or 2010. 2010. Lo que ustedes quieran, ya sea 2010, 2010, or simply 2010. 2020? 2002. Ahí tenemos 20, que poner. 2002. Uh -huh. El O para números generalmente, eh, perdón, <ríe> the number, the, the Z, el zero, el cero, ya me trae todo. El cero generalmente para números se puede decir zero o se puede decir O. Como que estamos sorprendidos. En números telefónicos, 702. My email address is Alejandro0202 at gmail.com ok so, okay. también lo vamos a ocupar para décadas guys, so llevamos partes del día meses 
Eh, oh, in the summer, en el verano. How do you say en invierno? In the winter. Mm -hmm. winter. Exactly. Aquí siempre vayan tomando lo que ya tenemos. In the 1990s, en los 90s. Para décadas. In the 70s, en los 70s. How do you say en los 80s? In the, in the 80s. 80s. In the 80s, exactly. En los 60s? 80s. In the... In the... In the 60s, mm -hmm. 60s. exactly. Para también siglos. In the 20th, 20th century. Say In the 20th, 20th century. century. En el siglo XXI. In the 20, 20th, 21 years. 21st. 21st. 21st, good. En el pasado. In the past. In the past. En el futuro. In the future. In the future. In the future. En 15 años. In 20 years time. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, en dos horas. In two hours. In two hours. En diez horas. In ten, ten hours. hours. Good. En un mes. In a month. Mm -hmm. En diez minutos. In ten, In ten minutes. minutes. In ten minutes. Van viendo cómo se puede jugar con la proposición. So, yes, sir. this is very important. Now. Um, pongan atención que luego de esto tenemos ejercicios, guys. Tenemos bastantes ejercicios para asegurarnos que ha quedado. Y luego vamos al speaking. So, how do you say el lunes? On Monday. On Monday. On Monday. El martes. On Tuesday. On Tuesday. Tuesday. On Tuesday. 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 Mm -hmm. Tuesday. Tuesday. Generalmente se confunden con martes y jueves. Tuesday. Correcto. Y luego, Thursday. Vamos acá. Thursday. 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 Now, ¿cuál creen que es la diferencia? What do you think is the difference between this? In December, on January 3rd. ¿Por qué ocupamos in con diciembre y aquí estamos ocupando on? ¿Qué creen que es la diferencia? Es el tercer día de enero. Exactly. When we're talking about dates, guys, we're going to use on. Cuando hablamos de fechas, vamos a hablar y on. For a specific on. day of the month. Exactly. A specific date. So, how do you say el 3 de enero? On January, on January, January 3rd. 3rd. Mm -hmm. On January 3rd. <coughs> Good. Um, aquí serían, nosotros en español, ocupamos los... Um, los cardinales, right? pero en inglés ocupan los ordinales, que sería primero, segundo, tercero, porque van en posición, no en cantidad. So, on the 10th, say with me, on the 10th. On the 10th. On the 10th. On the 1st day. On the first day. On the last day. On the last, on the last day. day. How do you say en el primer día? On the first day. On the first day. day. En el último día. On, on the last, last day. day. En mi cumpleaños. On my birthday. birthday. En tu cumpleaños. In your on your birthday. birthday. Ajá, okay. siempre con on. En su cumpleaños, hablando de él. On in his, on birthday. his birthday. birthday. On his okay. birthday. Very good. En, el, en Navidad. On, on Christmas, Christmas Day. Day. Good. En Halloween. En Halloween. Day. Halloween. On Halloween. Very good. On East Day. On holidays, vamos a ocuparlo para holidays. El día de mi boda, on my wedding day. On my, on wedding, my wedding day. day. Ese puede ser el día más feliz o el día más triste. Um, <laughs> how do you say, también el día más feliz o más triste, el día de mi divorcio. On my wedding day. On my divorce. Ah, on, on my divorce day. On my divorce, day. very good. Ese wow. día. On that on day. That day. La noche del sábado. Saturday night. Saturday night. Very good. So, acá, como ustedes pueden ver, guys, vamos a empezar a ver patrones. Ok. Now, um, how do you say a las 10 de la tarde? A las 10, a las 10 p.m. At, at 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. Very good. How do you say al, al mediodía? At, at midday. At midday. At midday. Uh -huh. at at midday. 
Y what is the other way? ¿Cuál es la otra manera de decir mediodía? At noon. At noon. Exacto. At noon. Ajá. At noon. So we have two ways. We have... Um, give me a second. I just got confused. We have at noon, que es a medianoche. At midnight, también. Ok. Y mm. también tenemos um, at midday or at noon. Ahí tenemos dos. Next, at dusk. dusk. At dusk. dusk. Mm -hmm. Este ya es el, el anochecer. All right. At dawn. At dawn. At dawn. Dawn. Um, there's actually a movie. Hay una película acerca de esto. No sé si se acuerdan. It's about vampires. Bueno, en teoría vampiros que brillan, pero. So, at dawn is, um, is pretty much el amanecer, el alba. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very good. At night, en la noche. At the weekend. Vamos a ponerle un poquito de velocidad. At Christmas, at Eastern, at the moment, at that time. At the beginning, en el principio, at the end, at breakfast, at lunch, at dinner time. Okay? ¿Les parece un montón, guys? Sí, son un montón. Yes. <laughs> There are a lot. But as you can see, simplemente no es cuestión de asustarse, sino es cuestión de empezar a reemplazar. All right? Como hicimos el ejercicio okay. in the morning, in the afternoon, hay que empezar a reemplazar. So, Let's go ahead and do it real quick here. In September? In September. In September. Aha. Uh -huh. A las 12? At, at, at. En invierno? On winter. On winter. Okay, yo le voy a hacer caso a ustedes. Easter Monday? In. In. Búsquenlo. Uh, in. Mm -hmm. On Monday. On. On, ah. on, on, on Monday. Okay. On East Day. Si se fijen acá. On East Day. Veamos. All right. Fourth of July. Specific date. In. Uh, on. In or on? On. 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 January 3rd, on. specific date. On. on. All right, very good. Christmas. At. Veamos. In. At. In. At. In. All right. In. At. In. A la garduña. ¿Quién da más? ¿Quién da más? ¿Quién da más? So, um, ok, el último que escuché fue on. Vamos a poner eso. El martes, Tuesday. On. On. Tuesday. On. 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 Fin de semana. In the weekend. Ok, pongámosle in. Mi cumpleaños. On. On. No, no, no. Veamos, escuché on ahí. The end of the week. At the end, at the end of the week. On, on the end of the week. Okay, at vamos a ver. On. Veamos. So here we have in winter. Vamos a ver con la tabla si está bien o está mal. Tenemos in in the summer, in the winter. Okay. okay. Very good. So let's go. Esto ya no, ya no lo podemos cambiar. Good in September at 12 on Easter Monday on July the 4th at Christmas. Veamos acá. At Christmas. At Christmas. There we go. Ahí lo tenemos. Um, let me see the other one. In the weekend. At the weekend. At the weekend. Now. At the weekend. Let's go ahead and verify at the weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Now, la diferencia, guys, acá es el artículo V en el fin de semana. Si nosotros uh -huh. decimos on weekends, ahí sí. Si se acuerdan acá, miren, on weekends. So, okay. esa es la diferencia, que vamos a ocupar at cuando tenemos el artículo D, D. y vamos a ocupar on cuando estamos hablando de generales. All right? Okay. Very good. On my birthday, at the end of the week. Very good. Now, esta, por motivos de tiempo, porque quiero que practiquen, se las voy a mandar. All right? Okay. Para que la hagan de tarea. Y también tenemos estos otros. Con esto, guys, simplemente tomen la tablita que les voy a mandar y empiecen a ustedes identificar. Start identifying what you have to do. Vamos a tener que identificar y no se preocupen, el complicado no es, lo que pasa es que son bastantes y simplemente hay que practicar y ahí prácticamente nos vamos a ir acostumbrando. All right. ¿Podría mandar por la tablita de está in, on, ah. Yeah, of course, of course. Y de hecho hay unas que todavía están más detalladas que esta, pero esta fue la, la que yo consideré, de las que encontré que fue la mejor. All right. Así que sí, se las voy a mandar. So, in the meantime, guys, what we're going to do is the following. I want you to take a screenshot of this. Quiero que tomen un screenshot y lo manden al grupo de WhatsApp. Yo se los voy a mandar también. Y los voy a poner en, uh, en grupos de dos o de tres. So you can practice. And you can talk about yourself. Para que ustedes hablen de ustedes. Por ejemplo, what do you do? The question, right? That we have, uh, donde que la teníamos en el anterior. What do you do in the morning? What do you do in the afternoon? What do you do in the evening? Y quiero que empiecen a decir qué hacen en ciertas horas. Por ejemplo, vamos a tratar de meter lo que podamos. I brush my teeth in the morning. I eat lunch in the afternoon. I give classes in the evening. Si se fijan, lo voy tratando de ocupar todos, ¿no? Mm -hmm. I, um, I go to the beach in August. Ya ocupé esta, ¿verdad? Yeah. Vamos a la otra categoría. I get wet in the winter because I ride a motorcycle most of the times. Esta ya es pasado, el pasado del verbo to be. I was born in 1970. My mom was born in the 60s. Etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. Okay. I eat cake on my birthday. Um, I go to church on Mondays. Voy a, a la iglesia los lunes. Y que empiecen a trabajar con esto. ¿Estamos claros, guys? Yes. Do we have the, the screenshot already? ¿Ya tenemos el screenshot? Yes, teacher. All right, very good. So let me go ahead and open the, the chat so you can work together. The break rooms, just one moment. There we go. Please accept the invite that you will receive and start talking. What do you do? Try to use all of those expressions. All right, there we go. We're just, we're just missing Roberto. Good. Ah, okay. Hey. Practice in this moment. Yes, ma'am. Pure practice. Digan una cada uno. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the morning. Uh huh. Uh huh. In the mañana, Lisa. ¿Qué okay. hace usted en la mañana? Okay. Ah, uh, all right. In the morning, I take a shower. Good, good, good. I like that example. Um, just make sure that you switch it. Time expression is at the end. Vamos a cambiarlo porque la expresión de tiempo va al final. I take a shower in the morning. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Now you, Hector. Give, give us an example, please. I wake. I get up early in the morning when I work. Okay. 
fantastic example. Now you, Lisa. In the afternoon, oh, no, sorry. Don't be sorry, it's fine. You say, I, I walk in the park in the afternoon. There you go, fantastic example. Now, generalmente van al final, pero tampoco es que esté mal. Si usted, ah, quiere hacer, okay. si usted quiere hacer énfasis en que lo hace en la tarde, ocúpelo al principio, está bien. Pero simplemente bien. si usted quiere decir que hace algo a cierta hora, ocúpelo al final. Ok. Generalmente va al final. You're welcome. Okay. Continue. Now, try to ask yourself questions. What do you do in the afternoon? What do you do in August? Ok. Don Héctor, what do you do in the summer? There you go, good question. In the summer, I don't have um, free days. Days off. Serían days day off. off. Day off because my, my kind of work, I don't have a specific update. Okay. I work in the, I work in the aeronautic meteorology. In the Department of Meteor Meteorology. Mm -hmm. Aeronautic Meteorology. Oh, okay. Whoa. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, more questions. Se hace un poco difícil, guys, porque tenemos que, que hablar, pero aquí es donde yes. nos damos cuenta de lo que tenemos que aprender. Lo que okay. nos cuesta es lo que hay que atacar. Let's continue. Okay. Don Hector, what do you do in the Christmas holiday? In, in the, the Christmas, Christmas, or veamos el cuadro. At Christmas. In. The, in. At Christmas. At Christmas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, no, no, no. The, the thing is that you're using in the Christmas holiday. That's why. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, you are correct. Okay. Uh -huh. In right, the right? Christmas holiday. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, in the Christmas holiday, depend on my, um, how do you say, horario. Schedule. The schedule. Mm -hmm. I don't want to put it in the chat. Depend, depend of the schedule, I have a free day or... Days off. Day, days off. Mm -hmm. Because the... The um, work we have um, pronostic climate forecast weather forecast, forecast weather forecast three hundred sixty five in twenty four hours mm -hmm. don't so, have don't have a, a free days specific specific days I have, off. I, I, I work I work um, a, 25 or, or 24th of December on 1st January. Don't have a specific date. Okay. Good job. Good job. Nice participation, uh, Hector. Now you ask questions as well to, um, to Lisette. Okay, Lisette, what do you do in the weekend? Uh, I try to rest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. 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 All right, guys. Okay. So um, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you continue talking. Let me check on the other group. Okay. okay. You have a. Okay. You have okay. a long time to practice. Don't stop. Okay. This is one. Okay. I stayed at home at night and I I stayed at home all, all day. Sorry. Okay. The whole day. You can say the whole day. Whole day. Whole day. Whole day. Continue, I'm not here. Okay. Did did you did you buy uh, did you buy sugar and and beans for uh, for 
emergency coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I bought uh, sugar, beans, um, at Meal. Sunday, on Sundays. <laughs> okay, mm, perfect. In, in that one, Johnny, it is good on how you use it on the structure, lo usaste bien en la estructura, but I bought on Sundays, si tú le agregas la S, es que es todos los domingos. Eso va con simple present. Con simple ah, okay. past, que es lo que tú estás ocupando. Tú puedes ocupar, I bought, bla, 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 on Sunday, el domingo. En singular. En singular, exacto. Si tú lo dices en singular, es uno. Ya sea, por ejemplo, voy a ir el domingo, es este. Fui el domingo para pasado o futuro. Pero en presente simple, que es para... Um, hábitos, verdad general, vamos a ocupar on Sundays, los domingos. Ok. Uh -huh. Sunday. Right. Continue. Ok. What do you do right now, Johnny? What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? Ok. I'm, What are you doing? I'm in class right now. Ok. Ok. What about Roberto? Are you here, Roberto? Yes, I'm here. Okay, good. No dejen que solo ellos participen. Usted también hable. Es que no, no estamos turnando. Ah, en okay. Pareja. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Ask me a question, Johnny. There you go. Okay, Lino. Uh, what time do you get up in the morning? Okay. Um, Usually, uh, usually I get up at five, five o'clock. Okay. Good. I usually get up at five. I que, hay que cerrar el cinco porque quedó un poquito abierto. Five. Okay. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. O'clock. Hay que terminar el sonido final con como, como tipo five. queco. O'clock. Okay. Repeat after me. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. Good, good. Tiene que sentirse en la garganta ese o'clock. Five o'clock. Good job, Lino. Uh -huh, continue. Okay. okay, Lino, what do you do on Sunday? Uh, let's see. Uh, I visited my pardon and... I I went I went to the, I went to shopping, teacher. I went shopping. I went shopping. Mm -hmm. Okay. Went shopping. shopping. Good. Mm -hmm. um, maybe I I clean my I cleaned my house. I cleaned. Sonido final. I cleaned, I cleaned, it. I cleaned my. It. My house, and uh, I care my my baby. <laughs> Good, okay. responsible father. I took care. I took care. I ah okay in the past then exactly. I took care. I took, okay, el what is the eh, cuidar no es eh, care. The thing is. Depends on how you use it. Si cuidar de algo es take care. I am take taking care. care of, I took care of. Care, si solo ocupamos care, es importar. Yes, I care. Uh -huh. Si me importa. Uh -huh. I don't cuidar, care. cuidar a la bebé. Take care of my baby. Uh, I take care, I took care of my baby. My, of my baby. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. The recommendation, Lino, Roberto, and Johnny, is for you okay. to use simple present right now so you can use more time expressions. Estamos muy bien ocupando simple past. O si van a ocupar simple past, siempre tratemos de hacer más énfasis en, en las expresiones de tiempo. Eso es lo que hay que reforzar. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Uh, Johnny. Lino, uh, when you were born, Excuse when you were born, when were you born, when where, 
when where oh, uh -huh. sorry okay uh, i born i was born i was i, I, was, I was born in chalatenango mm -hmm. uh -huh. when when um um on February. In February. Uh -huh. on, on February twenty fifth. On February twenty fifth. Correct. Um. Okay, that's good. On February twenty fifth. All right, guys. Um, let's go ahead and and go back to the main to the main room. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you, guys. All right, so we're just waiting for the people to come back. All right, Johnny, Lino, Roberto, Lizette, and we're just waiting for Hector. All right, guys, so remember, prepositions of time are a lot, okay? We have a lot of uses for in, on, and at. All you have to do is try to memorize it, and remember, English is not complex, no es complejo, it's actually fairly simple if you follow the structure. Si siguen la estructura, si ustedes quieren practicar su pasado, I took a shower in the morning. I ate breakfast in the morning. Okay? So, lo que tengan que hacer, sujeto, verbo, complemento, y el time expression en el complemento. All right? Ahorita, si no los están mandando a casa, o si los están mandando a casa, van a tener tiempo de sobra de practicar. All right? A mal tiempo, buena cara. And I just want to say thank you guys for logging in. Gracias por loguearse a pesar de toda la emergencia. Eh, les agradezco mucho. Sigamos así. Y simplemente cuidémonos a nosotros, a nuestras familias. Y sigamos metiendo. All right. Teacher. Teacher. Uh -huh. Una consultita. Este, los links, los links de los ejercicios que nos ha dejado, también los podía pegar también en el chat. Ah, ahorita, claro. Just a second, let me copy them, que ya los había cerrado, permítanme. Just a moment, please. Aquí va uno. That's an exercise. Let me send the other exercise. If not, guys, just Google it, literally. That's what I do. I use in on okay. pre prepositions, in on at of time. Example, or simplemente prepositions of time, exercises. Prepositions of, of time, examples. All right? Siempre okay. se los voy a mandar. Right. Aquí se los mando para que los copien, so you can copy them. Pero también los pueden, es, el último es la explicación. Pero también los pueden buscar ustedes. All right? Siempre para que no, right. por si yo fallo, ustedes ya saben qué hacer. Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome, guys. So... As you know, my name is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. Have a good night. Get some rest. Good study. Night. And take care of yourself and your family. All right? All right. Have a good night. All right. Take good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.